You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. And uh, if you have been paying attention to what has been going on around the world, you know that there's a lot of turmoil, and a lot of it has to is centered around immigrants who built this country. My my family were all immigrants. My dad came here from Cuba. My grandparents came from Eastern Europe. And it doesn't matter where immigrants come from. They're part of America. And you're going to do an event, Isabel Lopez, with the Brockton Workers Alliance. That's your new hat nowadays. Yes. Um, and in conjunction with a whole bunch of other sponsors. Tell us about it. Yes. So, you know, um, the current immigration uh, policies are not just affecting people at the border. We have families here in Brockton that are affected by every day, uh, you know, coming to ask us what they should be doing, what they can do, fearful that they're going to leave their kids behind, that their kids are going to be taken away if something happens to them. So we cannot ignore that. Um, so we are coming together um, as a coalition. We have several organizations that are coming to, we are coming together to um, bring this issue to the community. Mm -hmm. um, to educate the community, to bring the affected families, and for as a Brockton United to build into something as a community to support these families. Well, Brockton's always been a special place because of all the different cultures. Okay, yes. that's what I. That's why I live here. That's mm -hmm. why I love it here. Um, Im different waves of different immigrants yes. from all over the world. Mm -hmm. Brockton. I mean, we, we have a lot of programs on our cable station that are in other languages, okay? Yes. And uh, I told you my only regret in life is not learning one of those other languages. My father was born in Cuba, but my mother was born in Boston, so no one ever talks Spanish. <laughs> so one of these days I'm going to get to the language classes. But this is called Come and Learn About the Local Impact and What Brockton Can Do About It. So you're looking for right. solutions. Yes. And it's Monday the 23rd. Yes. Uh, at 6.30. At, the, at our next door neighbor, right, thirty three North Main Street, Keys right. of the Kingdom Church. Yes, is it is it the the church on this side of the street or the right. other? Okay, this, side this of one, the, the white church, the yes. one that used to be Christ Congregational Church back in the day. Right. But you got a whole. I mean, when you talk about a coalition, let's talk about it. You got the ACLU, you got Brockton Interfaith Community, you have the uh, Brockton Workers Alliance, Coalition for Social Justice, Cape Verdean Association, Latina Women's Association the Brockton Justice Center, the NAACP, and the Union SEIU 1199. So that is quite the diverse group, and in we, my opinion. Right. And um, the important thing here is that we want to bring these issues um, to the table for many other people that do not know how this is affecting local people here, local families. So we also work very, are working very closely with the Domestic Violence Task Force. Right. They are another group about here. Uh, I believe it is the name where all the groups are, have come together and they are also part of it. So one organization that we don't have there, I don't know, I, you know, we probably skipped it, but it's the Brockton Neighborhood Health Center. The Neighborhood Center. Health Center, okay. Yes, because um, they are the ones also who have um, referred a lot of the families that are coming to them with all these, you know, health issues and they have nowhere to go to find a solution, a support, some sort of support system. Well, a lot so, of people are afraid, right? Yes. I mean, right now in the world we're living in, right. people are afraid to report a domestic abuse event yes. because they might be afraid of being deported or, you know, just separated from their family, mothers and kids and fathers and wives. And the other piece, yeah, the other piece that is important to note is that we have families that are not seeking health care because um, the current policies are asking, are telling them that if they uh, are, you know, uh, looking for some assistance, they will not be able to stay here or get a green card. So we see a lot of families that are not taking um, not you know not not taking care of themselves like their health their mm -hmm. kids right because they are being told that they should not take any any assistance so those are some of the the things that we're seeing right now and you know the isolation the fear um, that people are are living under so you know we have families here that are so much affected in many different ways so this is why we're be, we're bringing this community forum and also to make sure that everyone works together because we are all human beings, so we're looking at people as human beings 
and there should be no division among anybody. So Brockton United, it's, um, you know, it's something that we're building towards. We're building towards um, passing also local policies to make sure that immigrants, families in Brockton are going to be protected. Well, we know that um, in Brockton, you know, our, our police force, our local police force, they look out for us. But the federal government is trying to change how local police forces do things, how school departments do things. We're all dealing with this and wrestling with it. And, uh, you know, I think it's good to have the discussion and start the discussion because I've been kind of actually waiting. You, you hear about it in Boston. You hear yes. about it in some of the other big cities. We're a right. big city. We right. have a lot of people. We have a lot yes. of diversity here. A lot so it of should people be that right are here. affected, The too. church has a pretty large capacity, does it not? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, and we are very grateful that different churches that have never come like on board with all of these issues, they're now saying, what can we do about it? So mm -hmm. as immigrant leaders of this community, we are calling on everybody to come on Monday and learn and be in solidarity and grow the unity that we need to be building here in Brockton. Is this the first of yes. others? This is, this is the launching okay. of, of many others because we are going to be going across the whole city and the whole region to talk about how these policies are affecting many others. There's a lot of people that are living in fear, that want to speak up, but it's important for them to speak up. It's important for them to know that there is a coalition of organizations that are here to support them in every way. Are you looking for the officials to be there, the city councilors, yes. the school committee members, the Everybody. state reps and state senators, the mayor? Everybody all of that? needs to I be know, there. Because I know yes. when you were involved with BIC and you got all the different churches and synagogues together and you held the politicians accountable so they would be yes. there to yes. listen to what you have to say because if you're going to craft legislation, of you're going to get the people that yes. write it to be there, yes. right? And we need, you know, we need the piece of, you know, education. We understand that this is a very complex issue. People do not understand. And I think that we have to start with where we're coming from. Mm -hmm. You know, like you say, this city was built by immigrants. This, this country was built by immigrants. And we need to be aware of that that um, we are, you know, we are the future. Our children are the future. So may as well, we have to, you know, uh, bond with each other and, you know, learn from each other and be in unity because you never know when you're gonna need me or when I'm gonna need you. So hey, this is what we're trying to build. If you don't speak out for others, others aren't gonna be there to speak out for you. Yes. There's a whole famous quote about that. I don't remember it right now, but I'll, uh, I'll have to I'll have to tack uh, my memory and, and, and get it another time. So phone number, website, any information? That so you we have, have a, way, uh, a Facebook page yeah. uh, with Brockton Families United. Okay. Um, and we hope uh, we have, uh, you know, 33, uh, you know, Main Street, the Kiss of the Kingdom is the place that we are going to be on Monday. And that um, we hope that everybody, regardless where you come from, if you want to learn about the, how this issue affects families, come with your heart and your mind open so, you know, you can take on and, and see what you can do about it. And you gave us a phone number, too, real quick. They gave yes. you the 30 second. Yes, so. 617. 306-1365 is the number uh, that people can call. Um, you know, and you know, I'm happy to give any information, but we have a Facebook page that people can go and look at where we'll it is. We'll give you this so you can put it up on the Facebook page. Yeah. Thank Isabel, you. Isabel, glad you could come in today. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for being here. Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.